right, good morning now, crew. It is uh, 4.56 in the morning. That means I had to have left my house at 3 a.m., which means I woke up <laughs> at about 2-ish, okay? So this face, <laughs> this is a tired face, y'all. I'm tired. I didn't have coffee. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have my vitamins or anything yet. So I don't know, man, but I just got to the airport. I'm just checking in. I'm going to do a little check in here or there. I wanted to go live, but I was like, eh, it's going to be too hectic in the airport to go live. Um, but I'm hoping when I meet the girls, ah, I can't even contain myself. Oh my God. Okay. I'm sinusy. In the morning, I'm nasally. Ugh. Um, I'm hoping when I meet the girls that we could go live for you guys. Oh, my God. I'm excited. I know they're excited. And I told Diana, because um, she, when she got her ticket and everything figured out, she she hit me up and she was like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. And I was like, nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Because whenever I get overly excited about something, and it's so easy for me to get excited, y'all. Y'all know. <laughs> Whenever I'm overly excited about something, it just does not work out. Like something happens, a shift in the stars, and it doesn't go the way I want it to go. So I was like, nope. I said, I'm not even going to get excited. I'm not getting excited. I said, once I'm on the plane, no, 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 no. I told her, not even once I'm on the plane. I said, once the plane lands, I'll get excited. <laughs> once I get there and everything is good to go, then the excitement shall ensue. Um, but until then, I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. But it's kind of hard not to get excited at this point because I'm at the airport. Um, it is almost 5 a.m. My flight leaves at 7.30, I think. So I got here way, way, way early. Um, yeah, I got my little headphones around my neck so I don't lose them because... I plan on watching Netflix on the plane. I plan on doing a whole lot of stuff on the plane. I got some videos to edit. I have um, work stuff. You guys know I have a new job. I have some work things I got to look through and stuff like that. Um, so I, have, I got a full trip on the plane. Like I have a full plane ride of activities to do. So, uh, I also have to pull names for the giveaway. Yes, yes, my Sparkling Co. giveaway. Shout out to Sparkling Co. Um, and then I have a Yayogi giveaway to prepare for. Yayogi giving y'all $50, y'all. First of all, can I just sit here for a second? Okay. Y'all, first of all, I'm fixing my hair because mm, I did not put any rollers in it last night. Ooh, it's so soft, y'all. It's so soft. Um, but anyway, first of all, Yoyogi, Yoyogi never offered me $50. <laughs> they never offered me $50. So what they said was they wanted to sponsor a giveaway, two giveaways. The first one was for $50 for the first place, first place winner, $50 to purchase anything from their site. And then they came back and said, okay, we want to give you two winners, one $50 the second one 25% off code off of their website and between me and you I would try the 25% code that they're gonna give you and then try my 10% code too so that's 35% off now let me tell you your yogi stuff is dirt cheap regardless this stuff is so inexpensive that if you could potentially get 35% off you could spend like $20 <laughs> You can spend you $20, honey, and get you all the stuff you need to just get your nails done. Polish, poly gel, lamps, glitter, bling, like you name it. Your yogi has it on their website. But anyway, this isn't supposed to be uh, a giveaway talk. I'm not even, y'all, you see what you see what y'all make me do? I get off on these tangents. I was not supposed to talk about no giveaway. No, I'm supposed to be talking about my flight. So anyway, let me get out of here, go check in, and all right, all right, guys, I have my little, I'm, first of all, I'm dressed for nap time, I look like I'm in pajamas, um, but the flight is so long that 
I kind of just really want it to be comfortable. So I have my carry-on luggage and my personal bag. I'm not checking anything. And um, yeah. Off I go, off I go, off I go, off I go. Uh, I'm kind of lost in the parking lot. I really don't know how to get out of here. See, this is why you got to come to these places early. Because I really don't know where the hell I'm going. I really don't. I never um, park. Usually when I come to the airport, I don't park. I um, get dropped off in the front. So this is the first time. And... I'm legit lost. All right, I'll check in with you guys when I find out where I am. All right, so this guy is walking with the kind of speed that says, I know where I'm going. So I'm going to be a creep and just follow him, but keep my distance. All right, so I was right. He knew where he was going and he led me to the inside of the airport. This airport is bomb.com do you see it i don't know if i'm in an airport or in a mall now i know all airports look relatively nice like this but this one is very quiet i'm used to the orlando airport where it's just so crazy all the time and this one was oh my god nice and peaceful so now i'm in the elevator and i'm trying to find where i have to go get my ticket you know turn your little ticket thingy in yeah that's where i'm trying to go so it says to go downstairs i am downstairs and i just did it at the little kiosk here i didn't have to talk to anybody nothing Boop, 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 beep, 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 typed it in, got my ticket, and I have so much time to spare that I went to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I went to Chick-fil-A. Those people at Chick-fil-A are just nice universally. The level of manners that the Chick-fil-A employees have is just at like a thousand. <laughs> it is really like, these people, how are you? Good morning. I My pleasure to serve you. I'm like well thank you you know what i mean you don't get that at many places anyway i ended up getting tater tots and a coffee and an egg and cheese sandwich you guys know i don't eat chicken or meat or any land animals um but i do eat eggs so that's what i had for breakfast and guys i don't know if i'm starving or what but i'm telling you this is the best sandwich i ever had <laughs> That's the best coffee I ever had. <laughs> I tell you what, that thing was good. So I ate that thing down. It was delicious. What can I say? It came from Chick-fil-A. They could do they could do no wrong. So at the airport, eating my breakfast. And then I decided to paint my nails. And listen, guys. I knew that I was gonna have to paint my nails. Like period, point blank, I knew my toenails needed to be done. I didn't know if I was going to be able to bring the polish on the plane. So I packed it because I was like, okay, when I get back to the room, I could polish my nails. I'm trying to focus it, it's not focusing, whatever. Anyway, I figured I'd have to polish my toes before the show because you just can't walk into a nail show and your toes look a hot mess. So anyway, while I was eating, I thought about it and I said, what if when I get to the check into the plane, they run my bag through the little scanny thing and they make me throw away my polish. And the reason I say that is because I went to New York a couple years ago and I went, I was fine. Nobody made me throw anything away. When I was coming back, I had the same stuff. I think it was like some face cream, some eye cream or something. And the lady made me throw it away. So with that in mind, I was like, oh my gosh, what if they let me throw away my polish and then I don't get my toes done? So I was like, boom, I'm gonna polish my nails right here, right now. I don't know what made me think about that when I was eating my sandwich, but I was eating my sandwich, it was delicious, and I was thinking about my toes. Don't judge me, just don't do it. All right, so what I'm doing here, guys, I am using, I don't have any nail file or clippers and no, base and dehydrator and primer so this pedicure probably won't last 
but a week and that's fine because I'm just gonna be here for a week I just need it to last for a week okay um so anyway I am using the metallic silvery type color as the base and then I am gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna put the glitter on top of that and I figured if I did it that way um, I wouldn't have to add as many layers of the glitter so that the glitter popped you know what I mean I was kind of cheating and using the metallic to kind of bring the glitter out I really hope I explain that so that you guys know what the heck I'm talking about but when I'm done my toes I will show you what I mean and you will see it and don't be making fun of my little toes I know that my feet are small I know my toes are little I can't help it this is what I was given you know what I'm saying? This is what I was given. This is all I got. This is what I got to work with. But you check the bottom of my feet, though. My feet is clean, though. Okay? All right. So this is what my little toes look like. I even zoomed in for you. And they are so cute. I didn't even add the top coat yet. I didn't even add a top coat. They're so cute. All right. So I'm going in with a second coat of that glitter. Why? because I'm extra did I need an extra coat of glitter I did not I did not but I just wanted to be extra because I'm at the nail show I'm gonna have open toe shoes and I just need my oh I just need my toes to say hey good morning all right so I did one foot and now I'm on to my next foot and I'm just doing the exact same thing I'm going to let them dry completely and then add the top coat to my nails I got to this airport guys way too early because I was thinking it was going to be like the one in Orlando in Orlando you got to get there two hours early otherwise you're missing the flight period but here in Tampa honey I got here two hours early and I got time to spare I'm painting my toes I ate breakfast I wasn't rushed I just relaxed you know they had computer stations for you to plug your computer up they had um the little charging docks i think all airports really have the charging docks though and then the little eating area like the little cafeteria section oh my god just immaculate clean and there wasn't any oh it was just nice it was nice it was nice it was clean i love it i don't think i'd ever fly out of orlando again i don't know and who, who who knows what i'm talking about if you've flown through tampa and also flown through orlando let me know what you think about either airports because i mean look at me look what i'm doing y'all i'm paying my <laughs> i'm just living life you know <laughs> this is the life okay so now i'm going in with this top coat now mind you gel would have been better gel would have been prettier it would have been shinier and i wouldn't have to wait for it to dry but come on, I did not want to travel with my gel polish for two reasons. One, I didn't want them to tell me to throw away my gel polish. I would have been pissed. Like if you tell me to throw away these dollar polishes, okay, you know, all right, goodbye. I just buy you again. If you tell me to throw away my good, good gel polish, I'm going to be pissed off. And then I didn't want to have to bring a lamp. I do have small lamps, yes, but I just didn't want to have to bring extra things. So I just went with my regular polishes and it's okay. I just got to wait for them to dry. No big deal. No big deal. Um, it's not taking too long anyway. Number one and number two, I got time to spare. <laughs> I got time to spare, honey. All right. So my toes are done and um, I still have time. So what I'm going to do is comb my hair. <laughs> No, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm preparing for the flight. I'm preparing for taking a nap and, like, really relaxing on the aircraft. So, this is what us brown girls do, okay? We tie our hair up, honey. So, what I'm going to do is twist my weave. This is not my real hair. Y'all already know this is not my hair. Y'all know this is weave, okay? So, I'm about to twist this weave up, and then I'm putting some flexi rods in it just like that this is how I go to bed at night this is how I sleep and it just makes the hair nice and silky smooth in the morning everybody knows this 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 is not I'm not teaching you anything new like everybody does this this is this is just a thing so I'm putting my flexi rods in my hair so that when I get on the aircraft 
I can lay down and not have to worry about this hair bunching up and napping up on the back of my neck because we all hate that. <laughs> we all hate that. And I didn't bring any hair oils or anything to keep it nice and soft because you know you cannot travel with that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to even bother and waste my time. Okay, so got my little rollers in. I look ratchet and here's my little hair tie or scarf that I will put on when I get on the plane. I'm not going to put it on now because that's just crazy. Um, but you better believe when I get on this plane, it's going on, honey. Yes, yes it is. And I do not care. Judge me not, nail crew. Judge me not. All right, so I have about 30 minutes to spare and I moved closer to the terminal. Here, I'm just giving you one more shot of my toes, you know, cause they cute and they popping or whatever. And finally, I am on the plane, baby. And what, your girl got a window CE. If you have been watching my Instagram stories, you already saw a lot of these pictures cause I've been just posting and posting on Instagram, honey. But yes, I got a window seat. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful view, honey. Gorgeous. And then look, right in front of me is the TV screen with a spot to charge my phone. And then down here is a spot to charge my tablet. Okay, Delta, you knew I was coming. You knew I was coming, baby. Real quick, nail crew, I want to show you guys my nails. So, I was trying to put my bag over the overhead compartment in that little area, and I'm pushing and pushing and pulling and pushing, and look what happened. Chipped the tip of my nail. Now, that was a lot of force that I was doing, so I'm not going to blame the system. I think the system is really, really good. I love it, and I will definitely do it again. Um, but yeah, man, the, the nail didn't break. Like, it, it stood up against all of that pushing and pulling with my big suitcase and everything. But um, yeah, man, now I got to hide my finger. Shoot. On a positive note, I have nobody sitting next to me. <laughs> well, I drew a friend in. <laughs> I always got to find the good in the situation. So I'm in the bathroom. It is tiny. Tiny. Got a lot of mirrors though. You got a mirror here. You have a mirror there. And then you also have a mirror. If you're claustrophobic, I tell you what, you better not be on a plane, honey. Ain't no room. Good thing about it, though, there is three um, bathrooms on this. <gasps> I was getting a dress. I'll be right back. All right, now, crew, y'all almost saw too much. You almost saw too much. I was going to have to change this to PG-13 or rated R. All right, so anyway, back to my seat, and I am watching Aladdin with his cute self. Many movies and options of what to watch, but I just thought, hey, this will keep me busy, and yeah, it was pretty good. And here's my coffee. I take two creams, no sugar, or I just drink it black, and this Delta cookie was scrumptious, okay? Absolutely scrumptious. All right, so here I am at the little layover area. I am in LA, baby, but I'm not gonna count it because I'm just in the airport. Like, I'm not out and about in LA. <laughs> I wish I had time to run out and go play. But anyway, back on the next airplane, literally off of one airplane onto the next airplane. Here we go. Here we go. This is the last one. So from here to Sacramento, it takes less than an hour. And bam, I have another window seat. Yes, I have another window seat. And here comes the flight attendant with more snacks. <laughs> more scrumptious snacks. Thanks, doll face. So I have another coffee. I think I'm just going to drink this one black. And I have Cheez-Its instead of the cookies. And guess what, guys? Ten minutes to landing. This scene, y'all, is beautiful. This is, oh, my God. That's a whole postcard right there. That's a postcard. Who can I sell this to? 
Somebody need to see this. Somebody. This needs to be on a Hallmark postcard or something. All righty, guys. So I made it. Here is our Airbnb. I'm just showing you guys around real quick. Little mirror over there. Let me see if we got a view. Eh, no. <laughs> no view. Cute little dresser there. Oh, my gosh. A little record player. Whoop, whoop some records i don't know what that key goes to and then there's a code here i don't know what the hell that is um but speakers that means that they are saying i could blast my music because why else would they give me a big behind speaker so i'm here for it yes yes cute little couch cute little couch i hope it's not too dark in here because i did not turn on any lights here is the kitchen. Where is the light? I don't even know what a light switch. Here, here's a light switch. Oh no, that's not a light switch. Alrighty. Well then, there. Is, I don't know. I don't know what a light switch is. But anyway, so here's our little kitchen. And by we, I mean me, my guy friend who is going to come. Um, Princess Nails by Diana and Diamond Debbie. They're not going to stay here. They have their own hotel, but they're still going to come and hang out and stuff like that. And then on my little porch here, oh my goodness, a nice little washing machine and dryer and a Christmas tree. Why? I don't know. Um, and then cute little area in the back for us to like chill and drink. Oh, where is the liquor store? <laughs> I'm too excited about that little area in the back. All right, let me hold on. Let me lock this door back because I don't know. You know, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so that is it. Oh, the bathroom. Oh, I like, I like, I like a lot. They even have the squatty potty in case I have problems pooping. Yeah, thank you. I, I don't have problems pooping, mind you, but just in case. Nice little stand-up shower. Oh, I like that shower head. All right, guys. That is it. And my phone is dying. You saw how dark it got? Um, that's because I need to charge my phone. Um, and then back outside, some more sitting areas. Okay, all right. That is it. This vlog has been super long. And I know you guys are tired by now. So I'm going to end this vlog here. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> I'm so sorry for that squeal. Okay, let me start over. Cut, take two. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to end this vlog right here and take a nap on this bed because I am tired. See you tomorrow. Bye.